So, what's up guys? Anyway, I found the Toyota diagnostic software online. You know, the um, text, text stream software, whatever. Anyway, found the installer, ran it, got the cable, um, connected it to my car. Just an uh, OBD2 to USB cable, which you can find on Amazon. So anyway, I was like, you know what would be really cool if I changed the display? Something super useful, super functional. So anyway, now the, now the display in my car is just blue. You know, I think that was, I think that was a really good use of time. Yeah. Um, so this uh, program is pretty cool, right? You can just, uh, we can select different um, features of my car that I want to customize or change. Not entirely sure how le how legal this whole thing is, but uh, it's still pretty sick. Um, so I can run a um, basically all the components on a car connect together using this thing called the CAN bus, which is how they all communicate. They're pretty much on the same network. No, I guess technically network would be how to describe it. So I can check that. So um, I'll go back here to System Select, and as you can see, you have all your options. You can run a health check, which I did earlier. Everything checked out. And then I have all the ECUs right here, which are just like the kind of like the sub computer components of the car, I guess technically. We have um, air con wait, just like all that sort of stuff. Smart key, air conditioner, air con yeah. Anyway, I'll just select this. And yeah, it says this ECU. Uh, I can't run this one right now, I guess. What does it say? It says lost communication with instrument. Okay. So I don't know where my keys are right now, actually. So that could be, but if we, I did um, air conditioner, and you can actually see it connects to the air conditioner in my car, and you can actually see, like, these are the temperature values in my car. And as you can see, that one just, uh, it just went up. It's adjusting, so that's pretty cool, right? You can see all the ambient temp, you can see all temperature stuff. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of cool. And then, um, you can test everything. Just give it another second. And yeah, so you can go ahead and motor, target speed, water pump, electrical fan, and available is the electrical fan. It says it can be operated verified upon visual inspection or sound, available commands. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and cancel that because I already know that my air conditioning works and I'd really prefer not to break anything. So I mean, I'm going to go back to system select. Um, let's see, airbags. You know, I kind of don't want to turn off my airbags, but at the same time I'm very curious to see what this is going to bring up. Worst case scenario, my airbag explodes like right now. Alright, so that doesn't display anything. I'm assuming that just means that it's working. I'll find out if I'm in a crash. Sliding, oh, I don't have, I think this stuff that, um, has the little, whatever, asterisk next to it. I'm pretty sure that's stuff that I actually don't have. Master switch, I gotta say, I'm kind of curious about what that does. That might not display anything. Yeah, let me check data list. I'm kind of curious to see what that says. Alright, yeah, so I guess that just is, uh, the... So that's kind of cool, it just shows... ...status of all those components. Back, um, yes, yeah, so then you can have the customized setting stuff, which is... ...where I change the color on my display. Go back, we'll do green. Yep. Yeah, change it to green. Um, so yeah, that's kind of cool. Go back to system select. I think I already explained what the CAN bus does. So then we just have, um, it can run a test or whatever, and make sure everything's communicating. But, uh, that's because it's just showing everything that I already selected. Wonder what happens if I click active test. Probably nothing. But I'm kind of 
kind of curious. Oh no, okay. We can, we can do, um, yeah, I don't, this, uh, a lot of these tests, if you go to run, because I ran the health check earlier, and it, it takes like a decent amount of time. So then what you can also do is, I believe one of these read data functions, is you can read and write, you can kind of, you can write files to your car. Which, again, I saw this, um, they have this microcontroller that connects from the OBD2 connector, and it basically it writes files, and there's actually a Python library for it. And what I saw it being used for is you can, like, control the stuff that's too dirty, really. It's cracking up. Um, as you can change this, you can actually change this stuff on your dashboard. So that could be cool. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's making me laugh. Yeah, so you can, um... I want to see if there's probably nothing, because this is probably the stuff I report. I mean, oh, uh, I have no, um, I'm outside right now in my car, so I have no internet connection. This stuff always. Yeah, so I mean, pretty cool. Able to find the diagnostic software, as I like to say. Anything, even though it's anything, can be open source. <laughs> even though this, I don't think it's supposed to be readily available. Because they have it. They have it so that you can actually buy the software, but you buy it like with this. Yeah, any. Oh, I, oh, I guess I forgot to. You can also, because you can display all this stuff on here, like uh, your panel and steering, your touch switch, display all this stuff on here, do your failure, system check. Again, I ran this earlier, and this will probably take like 30 minutes. I'm not about to clear my memory. That's pretty cool. Here you shoot this. Big cool signal. See, that's pretty cool. So you can just put everything on there. So, anyway, that's about all I got to show you. And thanks for um, watching, I guess. Yeah.